Hey guys, Kristen here with Love of the Magic Vacations. So today we're gonna just do a quick chat because we've had a lot of updates coming at us from a lot of companies in the last week. Um, in a refreshing change of pace, we are not gonna talk about anything that we suspect, surmise, or are hearing on the grapevine, okay? We're just gonna talk about things that we know for sure. So this is gonna be facts only, okay? We could spend 24 hours a day right now suspecting what's gonna happen with lots of places, but that's really just using up a lot of energy when we could be doing other things, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hit the things today that my clients are asking me the most about. Uh, you may have other plans that you're wondering about. We can possibly hit those in another video, but for today, we're gonna just stick with the five big ones that I'm hearing from my clients, okay? Number one, Norwegian Cruise Line has announced that they will be suspending cruisings until July 31st of this year. Um, after that, we'll wait and see. But for now, if you had a sailing on Norwegian anytime up until July 31st, 2020, you do have some options. Depending on when your sailing lied in that span of dates, you're either going to be offered 125 or 150% cruise credit. That's great. You can use that on a future sailing all the way through 2021. If you would rather just get a refund, as we've discussed in previous videos, you can do that. No problem. You can get a full refund or you can take that higher level credit, maybe get yourself a slightly nicer stateroom or do a bit longer cruise however you want to work it to use that future cruise credit right um, for the Disney cruise line they have currently suspended sailings through July 28th um, same deal with them the only difference with Disney and I really like this if you take a future cruise credit with Disney and you don't use that full credit on your future sailing so for example maybe you go ahead and book for this fall or for next spring and you have $400 left over that you didn't use. Well, the wonderful thing about Disney is they're gonna let you use that for onboard credits, um, purchases, excursions. You can use that toward anything you want. Most of the other cruise lines are not allowing that. They're just telling you that you have to take that leftover, put it toward another future cruise. So that's really a great perk if you're booked on Disney and you're gonna reschedule. Use that 125% credit and anything that's left over that you don't use, you've got for onboard spending, so that's great. Um, okay, moving on to Universal. That's a big one this week because they have announced they are going to be opening to the public in limited capacity June 5th. So we finally have a concrete date that we can put some money on and we can go to a theme park if we really want to. Now here's the thing, they're being a little non-specific with details. I know we all want to know what exactly is the reduced capacity, how's it going to work? Well, I'm going to tell you the things that I have read on our actual Universal Partner Travel Agent site. Um, I'm fine to share this stuff because these are all things that I'm allowed to share with clients. So this is not top secret info, but it's info you may not have seen. Um, if you choose to go to the park starting on June 5th, they are gonna be at limited capacity. However, they have not said, I don't know if they've decided, but they're not saying how they're going to decide who gets in. Now we saw when Disney Springs opened on the 20th of this month, we really thought there was going to be a big mob of people and they were going to have to limit the amount of people that they actually let through the gates. Well, that didn't really happen. We had a lot of people that were a little iffy and decided to wait still. So the crowds were really not that big. Um, so, you know, natural selection kind of just took those crowds down to a manageable number. Nobody had to be turned away. Um, we may see the same thing at Universal, but the big question has been, how are they going to decide who gets in? Does it matter if you've pre-bought tickets? Does it matter if you're buying at the door? Because, you know, in my mind, if they just say, well, we'll allow this many thousand people in, everybody could mob the park first thing in the morning, and the whole thing is null because we've avoided social distancing and we've negated all of that. So here's the thing. They are at limited capacity, but they have not said how they're going to determine who gets in. So that's determined to be seen. City Walk at Universal is open in limited capacity as well. So you can eat in restaurants, you can go shopping. However, you cannot go to a nightclub or any of the big shows like Blue Man Group. So a little bit limited on what you can choose there, but there's still a lot to do. Um, hotels are still not going to be opening and they have not said when. So although we know you can go to a park on June 5th, we don't know a lot more. But factually, that is what we know. You are going to be required to wear a mask. You are going to get a temperature check everywhere that you go. And I was very surprised, but Volcano Bay, their water park, is going to be open too. So full open on the park and water park. Everything's good to go. You know, it's yet to be seen what they're going to do with character visits and photo shoots and all that, but I'm sure they have a plan. But for now, just know, if you're dying to get in there and ride something, you can go on June 5th. 
place your bets that maybe you can get in. Um, all right, moving on to Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. We are currently canceled on Royal Caribbean through July 31st, and that's a pretty new announcement that just happened a few days ago. So essentially, same deal on Royal Caribbean. They are still offering you 125% cruise credit if yours got canceled because you were sailing up until July 31st of this year. Um, as we talked about before, you can take that full refund and sometimes it ends up being a better deal for you. You can also apply that future cruise credit. You can kind of just see which one works out better for you financially and make that happen. But I will tell you, most of these cruise companies are automatically issuing you that cruise credit and you just get an email or your travel advisor gets one for you so that you have that credit to use. And then if you choose not to use it, you can of course call in or have your travel advisor call in for you and tell them that you would like the refund instead. So you do have your options there and those credits just come to you automatically. Okay, so now that Universal has announced they're opening on June 5th, we're still eagerly awaiting anything from Disney. We haven't heard anything out of them official yet. Now, just like before, everybody and their brother is surmising what's gonna happen and when, but we really don't know. We do know that just like Universal, there have been a lot of meetings going on in Florida between the governor, um, the boards, the state health, everything's being discussed down there. And I know that all of the major theme parks were asked to create a plan for their phase reopenings. Well, we haven't heard what Disney's is yet or what they're gonna ask for. So a lot of people suspect it will be soon and they're gonna follow suit with Universal, but we don't know. Here is what we do know, because this one's all about facts. You can currently book starting on July 1st at Disney. That is including hotels that you can book. However, up until a few days ago, you know, you thought you were going in June and now they're sending emails out saying that we're still gonna be closed certain dates through June. So right now you can make a reservation and you can make final payments and everything on your July trips. Whether or not they're gonna be open remains to be seen. We also don't know what their phase reopening is gonna look like. And you can, like I said, read all day on what everybody thinks, but nobody has said what's actually gonna happen. So for now, uh, we have Universal opening June 5th, limited capacity, all places. We don't know anything on Disney, but we're really keeping fingers crossed for July. Um, and all the cruise lines are basically offering those credits. So please, if you have questions, reach out to me at Kristen at lovethemagicvacations.com. If you have your own travel advisor, reach out to them. If you don't have a travel advisor, bet you wish you did, right? All right, guys, please like and subscribe for the rest of my updates. Stay well. I'll see you soon.